I thought that the New York Giants had a disastrous night last night. Disastrous, and I think it might take years to recover from no it. No kidding. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You cannot miss when you've got the opportunity to have two first-round picks, when you're drafting quarterbacks. Why are, why are the Denver Broncos in the state that they are? Because they've missed on quarterbacks in the first round. They had to go get Peyton Manning. He recovered them, brought them a Super Bowl and Super Bowl 50. But they're not what they have been historically because they have missed on first-round quarterbacks. I hope Daniel Jones has a lot of success for Giants fans' sakes, uh, for his sake. But the fact of the matter is, every single one of the Giants' three picks last night, they overvalued that player by, at a minimum, 10 spots. That is, that's a disaster just from a value proposition. They could have gotten a Pro Bowl defensive player next year at six, gotten um, Daniel Jones at 17, gotten Dexter Lawrence at 37 tonight, because Lawrence would have still been available, and they didn't need to trade up to get a corner because everybody in the league had corners rated differently. If you ask 20 general managers in the league, rate the top five corners, you're going to get 25 or 20 different top fives. So all of a sudden, they trade up to get – listen, I like DeAndre Baker. He's a, he's a really good player. Mm-hmm. He was overvalued at that spot. So I don't know what Dave Gettleman is doing. He clearly, you know, stuck to his board, but I think ultimately it's going to bite him in the future. No kidding. Well, I'll give you uh, the flip side of that. Great. Somewhat, okay. Uh, I heard the Rams loved DeAndre Baker to the point where they traded out right away yep. when Baker went off the board. Yeah. Because the Giants traded up before him. Because they, if they clearly did like thought Baker, someone was going to take him. Right. So the the because the I think the Rams would have jumped on him at thirty at at thirty one. So there's that. Obviously, Dexter Lawrence is, um, if, if you say he would have been available tonight, I mean, there was a run on defensive uh, tackles, just an absolute flat-out yep. run, and, and, and on were, Clemson defensive They were worried too. about the Chargers, you know, down right. a little bit lower. They were worried about Tennessee. Those two teams ended up taking defensive tackles, right. won the, you know, the troubled Jeffrey, Jeffrey Simmons from Mississippi State. Right. Chargers took Jerry Tillery. So, that's so I, I, I'm, I get, giving, I I'm giving you the flip side on that. 100%. And then... Uh, in, in the 16 years that I've done this now with the NFL Network and 15 with just the draft alone, all I hear from evaluators, and I'm sure you would agree with this, if you love the quarterback, it doesn't matter where you take him. You take him. Uh, you, you, you I take get it. Him. And, and, and you heard what Gettleman said. He, he, he had him at hello at the, at the, at the senior bowl, Joel. I, I think it's the safe pick. Uh, you know, I talked about it matters. So – in the college game, you yes. have to understand. See, in the NFL, the margin between average players and great players is very small. Very small. Average teams and great teams, very small. Everything's a one, one possession game, right? Yes. I mean, everything's kind of the same in the NFL. It is the exact opposite in the college game. You can put up monster numbers against terrible teams. And so I always separate out what do you do against quality opponents? You know, what do you do when it's a like opponent, when things are difficult on you? So that's why I brought up the stat about Dwayne Haskins against top 25 yards per play defenses. He played five of those games last year. He was 62%, around 300 yards, 15 touchdowns, one interception. Best of anybody in in, in the top two rounds as far as quarterbacks go. Meanwhile, Daniel Jones was last on that list of any of the quarterbacks that I had rated for the top two rounds. Mm. 59%, barely 230 yards, five touchdowns, three interceptions with a rating just above 100. So for me, that matters. Now, you can also say Haskins had a better supporting cast, and I totally agree agree with that. Again, I hope Daniel Jones has a lot of success. But, man, it just felt like a giant reach for me based on what was happening at the college level, in particular against quality opponents. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.